Today's Supreme Court ruling uh, just coming out, a tremendous success, a tremendous victory for the American people. This is a shameful moment in our nation's history. Is it a tremendous victory or a shameful moment? Depends on who you ask. After the U.S. Supreme Court handed down its decision today upholding a travel ban, on several Muslim-majority countries. No wall, no ban. Protesters condemning today's 5-4 decision with the Supreme Court's five conservative justices in the majority, handing Donald Trump one of the biggest victories of his presidency so far. This is a great victory for our Constitution. The decision upholds a travel ban, which has been in place since December, on most visitors from five Muslim-majority countries, Iran, Libya, Somalia, Syria, and Yemen, from entering the U.S. Restrictions also apply to North Korea and Venezuela, but they weren't part of the legal challenge. In today's decision, Justice John Roberts says the ban is squarely within the scope of presidential authority. The decision also calls preventing the entry of nationals who cannot be adequately vetted as a legitimate purpose for the policy, and that challengers fail to show the ban violates immigration law or the First Amendment. But there is fierce opposition. This is a decision that we will look back on and regret. Dearborn, Michigan, it is the home of the largest population of Muslims in this country. They are my neighbors. They are my friends. And I never thought I would stand on the steps of the Supreme Court and hear the most fundamental pillar of our Constitution, freedom of religion challenge. Dissenting Justice Liberal Sonia Sotomayor says a reasonable observer would conclude that the ban was motivated by anti-Muslim animus. Backing up her stance, she quoted Trump's anti-Muslim statements like this one from the campaign trail. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. The Supreme Court's decision ignored the fact that this president and candidate has targeted a particular faith, com faith community, which is Muslims here and abroad. We still have a long way to go when it comes to equal protection and living the American idea. Also reacting today is Representative Keith Ellison from Minnesota, who says, I am deeply disappointed that this ruling gives legitimacy to discrimination and Islamophobia. The current travel ban now remains in effect in the U.S. and the ruling leaving open the possibility that Trump could potentially add more countries.